So I am excited today to talk about something super important, and that is you becoming the you of the future. And it's very, very important that you're very, very intentional about that. And, and here's the thing. When I had a discussion with John Maxwell, I had all of these questions that I wanted to ask him. But the most important one that I wanted to ask him was, if there was one thing that you could pass along that you would want everybody to know, that if, if your sole purpose in life boiled down to one thing, what would it be? And he said he would love it if everybody figured out their purpose and lived intentionally sooner in their life. That way they could become the person that God designed them to be because most people go through life not being intentional with their life. So today uh, I wanted to take you through some stuff to go through the thought process of you being intentional about the future you. So 10 years from now, you are going to arrive. The question is, do you know where and do you know who you will be in that 10 years? See, we don't achieve success or hit goals by accident. Nobody has accidentally become successful. Nobody's accidentally hit their goal. You have to be specific. You have to point yourself in a direction. And then you have to take the actions that create that goal or that success. But first, you need to do something. You need to decide where you want to be and you want to decide what you want and why you want it we talk about this uh, in trainings all the time is know your why you have to know why you are doing something because that's going to push you through the times that are hard to get you to where it is you want to go you you need to decide what you want because what is almost as important as why. If you don't know where you're going, how are you going to figure out if you got there? So Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective Leaders says that if you begin with the end in mind, you are more likely to hit that because you can reverse engineer your goal or your success. You can start making the steps backwards to get to where you want to go, because then all you need to do is follow through with those steps. The next thing that you need to do after you decide what you want and why you want it is you just need to take the next tiny step to move in that direction. See, if we're, if we're using large, you know, internet numbers, you'll see them all over the place where studies have, have been done, where they say anywhere from 80 to 98 percent which that's a that's a huge margin so you, you got to trust whichever internet study you're reading at that time that says most people don't get started because they feel overwhelmed and their task seems too big so this is why i want you to take that next tiny small step towards whatever it is that you're doing. See, if you take small steps, even if they're random, if they're if you're not doing it every single day, guess what? That's okay. Nobody has to do it every single day when they first get started. So make sure that what you are doing for yourself is taking one small step towards that goal, towards that life that you want. And then make sure that you always follow that up again. Again, going, going to the number of people that quit, the majority of people quit because they don't see results. Well, the reason why they don't see results is they don't take enough of the tiny steps necessary to start seeing movement. Think about that. When, when everybody starts out at the beginning of the year, their, their goals are normally one of two things, either earn more money or lose weight. The great thing is, is our business opportunity op offers both to people. So what happens at the beginning of the year? They get that gym membership. They show up once. They show up twice. They don't see results the two times that they went. So what do they do? They don't ever go back. Guys, 
you are the people that are coming back time and time again for personal development so that you can get better, so that you can be better for yourself, for your family, for the people around you, so that you can create a better world for yourself and your family. So you are taking those small steps. Never stop taking a small step. Now, every once in a while, you can take a big step. You can actually sprint in a specific direction. But just know when things get hard, it's okay to take tiny steps. Movement in the direction of your goals is still movement. It's just that, still going towards your goal and your dream. Next thing you have to think about is decide who you need to be. Who do you need to become? to have that goal or that dream, that why and that what. You know, what would the 10 years in the future you be telling you to do today to get to where you are in 10 years? You know, for some people, you may not have a mentor. For, for some people, you may not have a positive circle around you. So guess what? Reach out to that new, better, successful you in the future and have them give you advice. You know, it is a really weird mind trick that you can do for yourself. You can solve questions for yourself just by thinking, what would the future me do in this situation? The future me that has the success, that has the goals, that has the dreams that I've laid out, what would they do in this situation? You know, what would they tell you each day to motivate you to become the person that you are? Would they be proud of the actions that you took today? So the future you is asking if you would be proud about the actions that you take today. What I want you to do is I want you to think, would the today you be proud of the action you took yesterday. And if you use those two questions to yourself as a way to measure your steps, you can go to bed each night knowing that you did or didn't do what you said you would do. And when you wake up, you can correct and fix that by doing it today. See, they, they say this, Oh, when was the best time to plant a tree? Five, 10 years ago? When's the second best? Today? The same thing is with action for your goals and dreams. The best time was yesterday. The second best time is today. So make sure that you are continually positively feeding yourself the things that you need to do each day. Now, I want you to do this uh, exercise. Um, the first one is a, is a little bit hard um, because I want you to, you know, close your eyes. Think about yourself 10 years from now. Now, I want you to think I didn't do what I had to do to become the future successful me. I didn't take action. I didn't take the small steps. I just stayed in the same place for the next 10 years. So if the 10 year you in the future is the same person you are today, how does that feel? Do you, do you feel kind of icky? Like I should have done more. I should, I should have grown. I should, I should have stepped out of my comfort zone. How, how, how do you see that? Do you see your life better for doing nothing? Do you feel the same? Has the world changed around you to where if you stayed the same 10 years from now, it's actually worse for you? What kind of emotions do you have associated to that? Think about that. All right, so now let's go on to, to the next exercise. This one I promise is way better. Now, the complete opposite of that, I want you to close your eyes and think about you 10 years in the future and you did do what it takes to have the success. You do have 
the things that you wanted, the things that you wrote down on your dream board, you achieved those goals that you wanted to hit. How does that feel? Do you see yourself being happier? Do you see yourself and your family doing the things that you want to? Do you have your time back? How does that feel? Does the future you thank the you of today for taking action? Are you excited? Do you have energy? Are you moving forward and have an optimistic outlook on life? Now, what I want you to do is think about how that makes you feel right now. Does that make you feel, does it give you energy? I mean, it gives me chills just thinking about it for you because having those kind of thoughts and tying it to those types of feelings that connects you with what it is you're wanting to go towards. You probably knew in the first exercise, you didn't feel good. You didn't like thinking those thoughts. You liked the second part of the exercise where you actually see and achieve and feel and know what it feels like to accomplish, to have the success that you want. Feel how that feels right now and use that feeling and that emotion and that energy to drive you to do the things that you need to do. So again, what do you need to do to become the intentional you? You need to decide what you want and why you want it. Once you do that, that puts you on the first step of figuring out at least where you're going and why you're doing it and tie that as deeply as possible to you as you can, because that will help you get through the hard times. Then next is, what tiny, messy, imperfect step do you need to take? Guys, that next step doesn't need to be perfect. You can try, fall down, get back up, try, fall down, get back up. That step can be messy. It can be imperfect as long as you're taking that small step forward towards your goal. And then lastly, decide who you need to become today to reach that person you see in the future and take advice from the future you about staying on track and taking action steps every single day. Because the best version of you today will create the better version of you tomorrow. Guys, go out and make it an amazing day. And I hope your day is as awesome as you are.